not every great actor gets an Academy Award. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Brits who surprisingly haven't won an Oscar. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the UK's finest thespians who, no matter how good they are, just can't seem to satisfy the Academy enough to be crowned Best Actor or Actress. Number 10. Patrick Stewart From Star Trek's Captain Picard to Charles Xavier in the X-Men movies, Patrick Stewart is an undisputed icon for sci-fi fans the world over. Make way, sir. I said make way! Of course, he's also an accomplished Shakespearean actor who began his career in theater, and he often returns to wow audiences with superb stage performances, receiving two Olivia Awards for his work. To be thus is nothing. But to be safely thus. But the Academy doesn't seem to have noticed the English actor's decades of big screen brilliance, as Stewart hasn't received a single Oscar nomination. But now there'll be no more Picards. Number 9. Liam Neeson. An actor who can betray complex historical characters as well as all our action heroes, Neeson has a slew of sensational performances under his belt. From Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins to Brian Mills in the Taken series, all his parts as the real life Irish revolutionary Michael Collins. I can't hear you! Who will take my place? Here they shoot you! And yet he's only snared one Oscar nomination, given for his landmark role as the title character in Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List. <laughs> but Tom Hanks beat him to that year's award. I will find you. And I will kill you. Number 8. John Hurt Hurt played many roles which could and perhaps should have landed him a statuette, including Joseph Merritt, the protagonist of David Lynch's The Elephant Man, and a standout supporting performance in Midnight Express. Oh, there's no straight lawyers in Turkey. All bent. Bent as happens. While he received nominations for those two films, his CV is otherwise Oscar-free, despite a lorry load of laudable highlights. Let us drink then to the Irish. No finer race of men hath ever peeled a potato. We're thinking 1984, The Proposition, and while his iconic fate in Alien isn't typical Oscar fare, the scene does prove that Hurt had unparalleled versatility. <laughs> Number 7. Richard Burton to one of Britain's greatest leading men and, in his prime, one of the world's most famous actors. However, though Welshman Richard Burton was nominated seven times, he never managed to win with the Academy. Reality is in the human mind, not in the individual mind. Throughout a long and otherwise distinguished career, he starred in Shakespearean epics, classic dramas and tense spy thrillers. What the hell do you think spies are? Moral philosophers measuring everything they do against the word of God or Karl Marx. They're not. They're just a bunch of seedy, squalid bastards like me. A performer who was well known for his off-screen antics, party lifestyle, and turbulent relationships, not least with Liz Taylor, he has his own unique spot in Hollywood folklore, regardless of the award he never won. I always envied Rufio his long arms. <laughs> Number 6. Peter Sellers Given that he's widely considered as one of the most influential comedy actors of all time, we're still scratching our heads as to why Peter Sellers never won an Oscar. Do you know what kind of a bomb it was? The exploding kind. Mark my words, Francois. Sinister forces are at work. While his role as Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther series is probably his most famous, Sellers boasts a long and varied back catalogue crammed with classic performances. But he surely came closest to convincing the Academy when he played multiple parts in Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strangelove. The film stands as a comic masterclass with Sellers front and center. Mr. President, the technology required is easily within the means of even the smallest nuclear power. It requires only the will to do so. Number 5. Alan Rickman Next, an actor much loved even before he took on the mantle of Professor Snape in the Harry Potter film series. Few could play the bad guy with as much gusto and panache as Alan Rickman. You want to be careful. People will think you.
up to something. Case in point, his performance as Hans Gruber in Die Hard, which still ranks as one of the best action movie villains in history. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> But Rickman was no one-trick pony, and he could adapt his style for period dramas, cult comedies, and box office hits. But to widespread bewilderment, he was never even nominated for an Oscar. Cancel the kitchen scraps for lepers and orphans. No more merciful beheadings. And call off Christmas. Number 4. Ian McKellen Another stage and screen stalwart, Ian McKellen has proven a pioneer for British actors throughout his career, and he's a bona fide cultural icon. Let's do it, pal, now. If not to heaven, then hand in hand to hell. Though impressing in low budget indie films, Shakespeare adaptations, and billion dollar blockbusters alike, he only has two Oscar noms to his name for playing James Whale in Gods and Monsters and Gandalf the Grey in The Lord of the Rings. You shall not pass! What's perhaps even more surprising is that he's never bagged a BAFTA either. What's a guy gotta do to get some recognition around here? Don't get in my way. Number 3. Tom Hardy This is your way home. We go back? Hmm. Regarded as one of the UK's most exciting actors, Hardy's filmography is crammed full of modern classics, including the multiple Oscar-winning Mad Max revamp and 2015's The Revenant, for which Hardy received a Best Supporting Actor nomination. If you like. Take away the up from real quick and easy. One ever has to know that you give up. I do that. All you gotta do is blink if you want me to do that. He's not all about the blatant blockbusters either, with acclaimed roles in Bronson, Locke, and The Drop proving his all round versatility. But Tom's work rarely gets a look in with the Academy, despite his ever growing popularity with the worldwide audiences and critics. What gives? If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Number 2. Ray Fiennes A celebrated actor who has often taken on complex and challenging roles, Ray Fiennes has consistently been involved with Academy approved films but is yet to earn an individual award. The truth, Helen, is always the right answer. His chilling portrayal of Nazi war criminal Eamon Goeth in Schindler's List, of course, comes to mind, as do roles in cult favourites such as Spider and the Grand Budapest Hotel. Thank you, thank you, you sweet kind man. But while Fiennes has proven his worth on multiple occasions, he's garnered only two noms for his trouble, for Schindler's List and The English Patient. There's been an accident. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honourable mentions. Barrett? If I hear from you again, I shall inform the police. Do you understand? Sorry about the noise. I was gonna call the cops. I wish you would. Number 1. Christopher Lee Christopher Lee had one of the most recognisable voices in film and played some of cinema's most iconic big screen characters. What does the eye command? We have work to do. Christopher Lee will be forever remembered as one of the most important actors in horror movie history, known particularly for his definitive Hammer production portrayals of Frankenstein's monster and Dracula. Other frightening forays include his crazed Lord Samurail in cult masterpiece The Wicker Man, which was reportedly Lee's personal favourite. Come. It is time to keep your appointment with The Wicker Man. And while Lee was greatly respected, he was never nominated for an Oscar in his lifetime. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.